Okay guys, here is the install video for the Spooky Do uh, apron mod. First thing do, game off. Uh, take the balls out, and then after that, lift your play field up. Rest it on the rails, just about that far, just enough. First part you're gonna need is a pair of snips. The zip tie that is connected to the orange and pink is what we're connecting the spotlight. It's this guy right here. Careful, do not snip any other wires. Cut that off, put that to the side. All right, now you're going to disconnect this right here. This is where your lights that we provided you uh, are going to connect through. Take this wire, feed it up through the play field, and then you need to go on top here and gently be careful of your opto wires right there, and you need to take it out. now. If this happens during install, I've seen a few do this, where it's like this, where it is through here, where it was fed through the factory, you need to unscrew that screw for the opto, remove it, and take it through there. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick, seeing as it's like that on here. Just takes a moment, fill up screwdriver. Go ahead, gently unscrew your opto. Back it off. Careful not to drop your screw going down the back of your play field. There you go, get that out of the way. Put it back in. Try not to touch your opto lens if you can help it. There we go, okay, now that's undone. Okay, now we're gonna start the install of the apron. So go ahead, slide your play field back in. Head and Actually, one of the things I want to show you guys, come here on this side. One of the ways to do this to kind of help, but you have to be a little careful, is we're going to rest it just at the very tip like that. But right here where your light ring is, got to watch that so you don't hit your rings. Otherwise, you end up breaking or damage, but you want it just enough so it's on here and flat. That'll help in case you drop anything so it's not rolling down. But be careful of this, okay? So we're going to go ahead... Lay out a little towel right here and the pieces we're gonna need. So for this part, we have our two light whips right there and the connector that connects them. This will plug into the part you just saw me um, disconnect from where the zip tie was, but we don't need that this second right now. So just leave that to the side. So you get those, you have your LED bracket and your fish paper, quarter inch wrench, and Phillips screwdriver. These are gonna be the tools you'll need. So what you're gonna do first is here with your bat wings, you need to move these guys in. Just go gently, don't wanna force the motor too hard. Move it in there, okay? Same thing with the other side. I'm just gonna move them in gently, all right? Next, we'll go ahead and take our Phillips screwdriver. I wanna show you guys this here. So under, look under here for a second. There's two spacers right underneath. So don't just pull it out and have them fall down. Go slowly, undo this one, get it loose. Now it's there, it's undone. Now come to your other one. Go ahead and undo this one here. All right, now we got those. Screwdriver down. Okay, so I'm be careful trying not to drop them if you can. I like doing it this way because then I can get my fingers on the spacers and I hold them like that. I'll just put that to the side just for the moment. The reason for the wrench is just in case you guys start undoing it and the hex post start to spin, hold on to them. Don't let those go. The Phillips screw is underneath it this way and there's one underneath here which we're gonna end up having to get to to remove the spotlight. So we're gonna do that right now. Take our wrench, go ahead and get that loose. Once you get it loose, board over, Keep a finger underneath here if you can. You almost need to use your nail. It's really tight right there, but you can get it as long as you just keep a nice little grip. Otherwise, you'll drop that screw into the bottom and then you have to wiggle it around to get it. So the spotlight takes a little bit of work to work up the screw. Sometimes you can unscrew it this way. Other times you're able to, if I can get it off, threads on it. There we go. You start walking it up little by little. 
There it goes. And they are a tight fit because when they're screwed on at the factory, it's actually screwed into it. There we go. Got it off. So we'll lay that to the side. Won't be needing that. You can keep it in your coin box. Keeping your finger on it. Go ahead. Put your hex post back on. There we go. See how it falls down that little bit? Get your finger back on it. Grab your wrench. Get a little tight on there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is our LED boards. Now, this board right here is the new one that the longest, let's see here. There we go. Okay, here's a short one. There's, and they're very much difference in length. Longest one goes all the way over to the space uh, blue skull guy. And then here's our short one. So this is going to be the one that ends up mounting to this. You don't need to stick this on just yet. So what we do is you're going to want to put the board, or excuse me, the bracket, the fish paper, and then the boards. Uh, fish paper is here to obviously keep away any electrics. We don't want nothing touching it on the electronics. And that will mount right in here with it. There we go. That goes in there and that in there. So this is the fun part where you're kind of holding a couple things all at once and it gets a little bit difficult to do. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pause the video here and reorganize and then we'll be back for part two.